Welcome to my first ever vlog. I'm so happy to have you here and I'm excited to get to know my subscribers a little better. Welcome, and this is my first vlog, the first time I've put my face in front of the camera. I'm very nervous about that. It is very difficult for me. I know you get it, so bear with me here, and we will get through this. But I wanted to just get to know you all a little bit better, or have you get to know me, my personality, who I am, and, and kind of add some of that into my channel, because... You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's kind of my thing that I do with my first cup of coffee every morning. I sit down and I watch probably an hour of videos. I'm a very early riser. I get up about four to five in the morning and I still work. Uh, I have a very taxing job and I like to spend an hour just kind of to me. And I watch a lot of videos and I have noticed that a lot of people that I watch, I have no idea what they look like. Um, I recognize their voice, I recognize their hands, and that's it. So I thought, you know, there's probably a lot of people that feel the same way about me. They, they don't get anything about my personality, and I thought this would be a great way to kind of start getting to know you a little better. So this is me. This is who I am. This is the the um, mass behind the voice, if you will. And I come to my studio um, just like you see me right now. I always throw my hair up in a messy bun. I have on my husband's old shirts, my wife beaters that I stick on because I don't care if they get paint on them, and a pair of uh, painted jeans that are covered in paint that my husband threatens to throw away every time they go through the laundry, but that's, that's another vlog, that, that ongoing disagreement. So I wanted to use this to kind of talk to you about what's coming up next. And one of the things that I have been active in, in doing, getting back into the studio, because I haven't been at this table for six weeks for the move behind me, what you see is my encaustic wax station. I'm not going to show you a studio tour today because I'm not thoroughly organized. I'm not completely unpacked. I have everything that I've um, accumulated accumulated with the junk journaling, art journaling, ephemera making processes, plus everything from my jewelry fabrication. I'm not a beater. I'm an actual fabricator. So I have big sheets of sterling silver, big sheets of copper, um, all the tools to cut, um, drill, grind, polish, jewelry, um, torch, torches, um, fire, fire and metal. <laughs> it's beautiful stuff. So a lot of stones over there. So, you know, there's a lot to unpack yet um, to get that set up and still a lot to pack to get this set up. So bear with me. We'll get there. But what I've been doing, I had to take some time and just create because I was jonesing, if you will, to, to get back at my table just a little bit or, you know, in my shop. My daughter um, has two children and she's in the military. She has two little girls. And while I was watching them, when she was uh, going away for a training deployment, I went to uh, an event with... I think my daughter was still there, the da my daughter and the, and the two girls, and we went to this little weekend event on the base, and they were giving away these magnets that talk about the 10 steps to build self-esteem in the military child. One of these is wonderful, and my daughter has one on her refrigerator. But when we got home, we had several dozen, 
of these magnets. So I grabbed some of those to come home with me, and I have been recreating them into little mini pieces of art. And these are, you know, these are a pretty decent size. I'm not exactly sure how big they are. They're about uh, four, bit, four inches by four and a half, four and three quarters. So, you know, they're pretty good size magnets. So you can get quite a bit of representation of the art journaling world right on top of this magnet. And I just used it to kind of create a little art journal page, if you will. So I have a bunch of those coming up. If you would like to see that, those will be uploaded soon. I also have been playing with ephemera. One of the things that that I noticed in a lot of the hidden paper clip videos, they always start with a piece of, of scrapbooking paper or a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of paper. And if you are like me and you like to create your own papers with uh, gel press printing, like you see here, um, you know, the dimensions don't work. <laughs> they, they just don't work because you have an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper and you have directions for a 12 by 12 sheet. So wasn't working for me. So I figured it out. And I have my little template here, and I am going to share that with you. Um, if you're interested, just pop on over, and, and you'll see me make a bunch of hidden paper clips with my gel press prints. These little jewels I picked up at Chick-fil-A in Happy Meals. These were the Happy Meal gifts. I travel a lot with my job, um, so I eat out quite a bit. Um, you know, I may be gone all day and home at night. I may be gone for two or three days. But in any event, I have found that portion control is much easier if you get a kid's meal. Or, as I affectionately refer to it, the senior meal. Because you go to restaurants and the portions are out of control. Um, which... <laughs> you know, maybe why we're all fat, but in, in any event here in the U.S., but in any event, these little board books are um, a great gift that Chick-fil-A was giving in the kids' meal, the senior meal, and I picked up two, so I'm getting ready to alter these and put those up. I also have some journals planned that I am excited about. I want to do a shibori journal. I want to do a botanical journal that is all natural dyes from the earth, press flowers, that sort of thing. I have that coming. And thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, your loyal viewing helps my channel. I am doing this to improve my channel. Um, the algorithm of YouTube reacts to interaction. So if you like my videos and you give me that thumbs up, that helps YouTube to know this is something they should put in the newsfeed for other people. If you comment, it shows interaction. The number of subscribers is not necessarily that important other than if you become a subscriber and hit that notification bell, then you're notified when I upload additional content. So it does help my view time to have a subscriber that also turns on the notifications and is interested enough in what I do to watch my video. So I hope that you will come and I hope you will continue to watch and I hope you like this. If you don't like seeing my face, let me know. No, don't. Don't let me know. That'll hurt my feelings. It really will. So let's be kind. Let's, as Kurt Vonnegut expressed in God Bless You, Mr. Rosewater, one of his books, Mr. Rosewater went to the hospital every day to welcome the new babies. And he welcomed the new babies by saying, hello, baby. Welcome to the world. It's hot in the summer. It's cold in the winter. But above all else, forget not to be kind. And I'll leave you with that thought. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next vlog.